welcome back <laughs> to Flitters and Why. My name is Byron. And I am Meg, and I just could not contain my my joy for Myra pulling the Monique. Oh my gosh. Oh, is that the hey, title? Hey, my the sweet baby. That That's is. the title. Hey, my sweet baby. <laughs> or my sweet baby. Like, oh. girl. I can't wait to get into that. But I yes. mean, we getting into yeah. it. We getting into it. But we're yes, we're back, y'all. Oh my gosh. We have not recorded a regular episode for basically the entire month of February because we had yeah. to record the last regular episode pretty early. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we had a very special Go Wild bonus episode with Lauren Wang that dropped last week. We hope that y'all enjoyed that. And if you're going to Go Wild, make sure you go back and listen to it because she is talking all things Go Wild Dallas. And if you're not mm-hmm. going, still listen and get a glimpse of just all the fun that comes with this amazing planner conference and think about going next year. It's going to be yeah. great. Yeah. Love that episode. We always have a good time with Lauren. Um, mm-hmm. If y'all listen on Spotify or want to listen on Spotify, I did throw that up as a video podcast so y'all can watch us Amazing. with Lauren there. Um, see our new intro before mm-hmm. it gets to YouTube. So yes. check that out. Um, please check that out because that was a lot of work. It was it, period. period. <laughs> so many things happening. I don't think moving forward. Mm-hmm. we will have video episodes but maybe i'm thinking if we have like special episodes like that we'll throw it up like i think that. that's perfect because yep. yeah I spotify mm-hmm. we'd be fighting because it Not don't translate days. over to other things yeah. like we had a mix up with that but anywho that and was fun <laughs> shout out to our patreon community this is our monthly live episode so we have Yay. a bunch of our patrons in the building these episodes are just always so fun and i don't know this is kind of giving us a little bit of prep for this live episode taping that we're going to be doing at uh go out that i'm nervous about yeah i mean we do it every month so we we've already have the practice uh mm-hmm. shout out to y'all y'all be here in the best times is during the breaks and yes. we kind of just chit chat and have our own little side conversation so mm-hmm. if y'all want that y'all want to be a part of the show Mm-hmm. Want to be a part of the great community that we have? Definitely check out the Patreon. Yeah, we talk things in real time. We do, we do. Mm-hmm. Yay. Um, and also this episode is coming out on a leap day, the regular episode on February 29th. So oh. I think this might be our only leap day episode, mm-hmm. and just it just so happened to land on a Thursday. So that's perfect. Isn't that crazy? Yay. Yeah, that's really, really cool. It'll be excited to try to come back to this episode next year. Mm-hmm. It's like when people have babies on the elite day and they get to pick their birthday. Wouldn't that be so ghetto for the child though? Like what if I want my birthday to actually be on the day I was born? <laughs> that's so crazy. Yeah, I think sometimes <laughs> people pick the leap day and then mm-hmm. they're like after four years, like, hey, it's their first birthday. Mm-mm. It would just be too much for me to keep it's up too with. Much. I would just be like, she was born on the first, or he Literally. was born on the first. Oh, the 28th. Yeah. Like, this is so weird. But, but that yeah. is really cool, though. Mm-hmm. It um, is really cool. Shout out to all the people having uh, babies today. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Myra, right. how has your. <laughs> Period. <laughs> How has your month been since, like I said, it's been so long since we recorded a regular episode? It's really been a roller coaster of a month. A lot of moving parts in the background, a lot Mm -hmm. of um, happenings, but it's, it's been, it's been good. Yeah. been good. Like a lot of good things have been coming, Um, doing really well with like streaming and stuff like Mm -hmm. that. So that's going well. Um, You know, life. I wish I had something better to say, but it's, it's really been good. It's Period. really been a good month. I love it. I love it. Yeah. My month has been amazing. You know, I love February. Uh, mm-hmm. My birthday, I turned 35 this month, Black History Month. Mm-hmm. So much things have been going on in just pop culture this month. It's been super exciting. And I haven't got to like finish any of my books because it's just been so much popping off on like television and social media and i cannot wait to talk about all those things because whoo whoo child yeah i Again, well we finished we finished a book we got an audio book well you know February. what and we're gonna talk about that and we'll we be counting you're right it. it's you're on right. my good reads you're right <laughs> 
That's so true. Oh, you know what? Something that I forgot to mention when we were talking about the Patreon and the live episode, that if you are a patron of Planners and Wine and you will be attending Go Wild Dallas, make sure we know that you're going to be attending so we can Mm -hmm. put you on the list to attend the live episode. It will be limited. It will not be open to everybody. There will be a sign up for that coming up. But if you're a patron of ours, you don't have to sign up and play the Hunger Games to get into the live pod. You're already in. Just make sure we know. That you're going to go out. Mm-hmm. Or otherwise, if you ain't told us, we don't know. So, yeah. Make sure. Yeah. We Gotta speak mm-hmm. up. Gotta speak up. But yeah, I think we'll have something come out to where we'll get all the people yes. names and stuff. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, if y'all didn't check out the last episode, which you definitely should. And mm-hmm. um Wild team is so graciously letting our Patreon members get first dibs to that mm-hmm. limited seating. So yeah. if you want to make sure you're in the building, mm-hmm. join the Patreon. If you're already here, um, y'all in. I know. I love it. I love it. And something that we do every year too for Go Wild, we make a um, Instagram group of just mm-hmm. our patrons who are attending Go Wild, just so we'll all have a place to be able to connect and chat and talk about Go Wild and meet up with people. If you need somebody to go to lunch with, you need somebody to room with, you can do all those things there as well. Um, so yeah, make sure you join the Patreon. It's a great time if you're not already in it. So Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah exciting stuff happening but yeah we uh february has been good um Mm -hmm. technically we didn't record before your the recording was before your birthday right Mm -hmm. so happy birthday officially oh my god oh my god i obviously (laughs) told her on her actual birthday but (laughs) since this is the first time that we are recording but um yeah yay thank you girl thank you girl she does accept belated birthday so if y'all i didn't said know. belated the whole month of february you know her whole month. season yeah. is over unfortunately mm-hmm. but you know it it's actually never really ends so oh speaking <laughs> of aquarius <laughs> mm-hmm. i don't know if you do like the full um astrology chart thing this is our bet banter segment i'm sorry this is kind of a random <laughs> thing but i figured out how to look up my like rising and my moons I, and stuff i need to do that but i don't know what time i was born i need to check on my is it only your birth certificate like mm-hmm. the exact time i need to check my birth certificate and find out the exact time that i was born but i want to do that oh my gosh yeah I, the chat um, is wishing me a happy birthday thank you guys <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i figured out like i was born like almost on the 13th. So oh, I wow. could have been June 13th instead of 12th, but um, mm-hmm. I made the cut. And I'm a Aquarius rising. Do Ooh. I know what that means? Barely. Ne- neither do I. <laughs> but I'm sure it's something good. I'm sure yeah. it probably makes sense for why we're so connected. Exactly. Yeah. And apparently I'm a Cancer Moon, okay. which makes sense. I feel like Cancers are very emotional people. Mm. Yep, yep. <laughs> Oh, yeah, J-Bay, hey. J-Bay, what does this mean? Because <laughs> I, I was going off of Ash. Ash is a cancer, too, and very sentimental mm-hmm. and nice. Actually, when I went in there, he was like, are you still recording? Are you having fun? Oh, my god! Yeah, very sweet What people. a little angel baby. Um, babies. Yeah, my, babies. my sweet babies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I think I, it makes sense with the cancer one. I feel like if it's a moon, is it like dark? That's why it's like kind of lower for me because I'm not as sweet as most cancers, but it can be there. I don't know. Somebody go and DM us and tell me because I have no clue (laughs) what any of this means. But I was like, oh, maybe the Aquarius part makes sense. Love it. I love that for you. Yeah. I love it. Aquarius is best. Random. Thanks for hanging out with us. Danny just showed up very late, hey. but it's fine. <laughs> I, had to oh. out. Oh. I have a recommendation. There's an app called CoStar. That's and... what I use. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> I don't know how else to use it, though. I just put this stuff in, and they gave me that. It if you go tell to the you... chart tab, yeah. it'll t- explain like your Oh, moon... explain everything what it means? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. I love it. Okay, literally after this podcast, I'm getting my time of birth from my birth certificate, and I'm I'm getting the app, and I'm figuring this out. This is not sponsored by the app, but it should. It's be. not. It should be though. It's a really cool app. <laughs> so that's so neat. Brought to you by CoStar. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just recently figured out. Like, I think somebody uh 
no, not I think somebody did say about that app. And I was like, oh, let me figure it out. Cause everybody's like, I'm this I'm not done and this rising. I'm like, I'm a Gemini. <laughs> I need to literally. literally. So I, know. I need to figure that out too. But like Danny really said, I hate I hate that Meg and I share a birthday month, but not signs. I know that at least we're both good. Hufflepuffs. We're in the yeah, same house. Share something. Yeah. And I got on yellow-ish today. <laughs> so Happy belated birthday to Danny as well. He yeah, shout birthday. out to Danny. Yes. Um, but on that note, guys, we're going to take a quick break to hear from our sponsors, and we will be right back to get into all the things. <music> All right, y'all. So we are back. And since the last time we recorded, uh, we have had um, some Go Wild announcements that Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to talk about. First one and the most recent one is that Archer and Olive will be the sponsor for the Thursday night welcome party. So I think that's going to be really, really cool. They talk about in the post, um, immerse yourself in a night of connection and celebration, all set to dueling pianos and karaoke. So I had to have the dueling pianos explained to me a couple of times. Um, But I think it's going to be really, really fun. I think it's the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I think this will kind of include a lot more people because I know a lot of people are like, I really love watching the karaoke sessions, but I don't want to get up there. That's me. I think the dueling mm-hmm. pianos will be able to include those folks who don't necessarily want to do yes. um, karaoke, but still kind of be involved too. So um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm really excited too. And that, I mean, that's literally me. Like I'll do karaoke like privately around my friends but Mm -hmm. i'm not doing it in front of like a thousand strangers it's so crazy because i feel like i'm more extroverted on the podcast but you're more extroverted like in public because you'll do karaoke in a heartbeat and i'm just like hell to the now i would just have hype you up all day but i just can't i'm so (laughs) white yeah that's it's interesting (laughs) i feel like i'm more of a um in speaking situations. Mm-hmm. So I guess with this podcast too, I'm I'm more take a step back as a listener. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I love karaoke. It's Period. a good time. I don't see anybody so once I'm out there. I think that's the key. Do yeah. you act like you're there by yourself? That's true. That's very, very true. Uh Danny said I was at a dueling piano bar like two weeks ago and it was so much fun. Yeah. I'm excited. That yeah, that got really me cool. extra pumped too. Uh when Danny uh told us that. Mm-hmm. So you have the experience and know what it's going to be. Yeah. And, you know, we trust Danny. If he says good, it's good. Period. We trust Danny for our lives. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, also, it says on the IG post, take home photos for your journal with the Archer and Olive photo booth. Y'all, I love a good photo <gasps> booth. I'm very excited about that for we, sure. We got to get there early because we need, mm-hmm. like, different combo. <laughs> And yeah, I ain't we got a lot of friends. Yeah. We got to figure it out. So yeah, we gonna try to get there early, <laughs> so everybody can get a chance. But yeah, I I do love a good photo booth. I don't know. I love. I think you sent that um that printer to us. Mm-hmm. The new Canon thing. And I, I think got cool. it. I got you did? it. Dallas got it for me for my birthday. Oh, mm-hmm. shout out to Dallas. You will never cute. hear this, but shout out to him. I, yeah, <laughs> remind me to tell listening. my husband to listen to the to the podcast. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, print out some stuff and send it to us. See what I it looks know. like. I, I love will. a good like photo booth strip. Me too. I'm a sucker for that. It's perfect. It's so yeah. cute and it just looks so cool in your planner. So I think this is going to be amazing. You know, we love a switch up. Um, yeah. I think the karaoke party hosted by Cat has been fantastic the last couple of years. But you know, it's always good to just have something new and, and fresh and to just do something different and just see how it goes. Mm-hmm. So I think that's gonna be awesome and we were gonna do like tips for the work t- for the karaoke party but i have no tips for this because i don't know what it's gonna be like i don't know what to expect yeah. so if y'all yeah. do dm us mm-hmm. we'll, we'll us talk know. about it for sure but yeah yeah i i think this is more fitting for how big go wow has gotten to because like you mm-hmm. said you love doing karaoke like when it's intimate mm-hmm. and close mm-hmm. with your friends and i think karaoke is best that way yes um you know, I'm gonna do it regardless, but I'm not normal. So <laughs> <laughs> I think this dueling piano idea is gonna be great for the the sides of the 
uh, wild community. So I'm excited. I think for so it. too. I think so too. And you know, we love Archer and Olive so much. It's gonna yes. be amazing. And I just cannot wait. Um, also, what else was announced? So they also announced Tanya. Um, from Erin Conjure will be a speaker. Um, she is going to be hosting the Ultimate Planner Challenge and as well as um, announcing the winner of the Small Business Grant. So that's Yeah, really which really that's nice. still open, right? The Small mm -hmm. Business Grant? I want to say it is. I think it was. I, I don't know for sure, but I, I feel like it is still open. I'll look it up in the background, pull up the email. Okay, so perfect. if you are a small business, I just hate to like say this on the pod and then y'all go look for it and it's closed. Yeah, but, um, we're going to double check that right yeah. now. But yeah, it is a good opportunity mm -hmm. if y'all are one. And the wild theme has been at the host hotel this whole week, checking all the things out. So I don't know. I think Lauren had mentioned that they might be posting little sneak peeks in the uh, Go Wild 2024 Facebook group. I hadn't seen any as of yesterday, but I hadn't got to check today. But hopefully she'll be posting stuff because that hotel looks so nice. I'm so excited to see more. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for the small business grant applications in March 18th. Perfect. Eleven fifty nine p.m. PST. So mm -hmm. plenty of time at this point of the recording. So definitely, your small business mm -hmm. and you're going to go out. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Yep, great opportunity to get some some money into your business. I love that. I love that they keep doing this year after year. I think it's really cool. Um, Danny said, "I need them to bring back the video activation from Anaheim with the circular videos and slow mo." Oh my God! Love when those. I made it rain. That was epic. Yes. That was probably one of my favorite things that we did at Go <laughs> that year. That was so cool. Uh, I think that was yeah. sponsored by Avery, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that was Avery. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so neat. Yeah, that was it cool. Was that. And whoever was manning it was super cool, too. Super cool. Yeah, yeah we need and that back. Also, we're kind of getting a little bit of more information about what the planner fair is going to consist of. Like, that mm -hmm. is the Thursday go out. I think that's going to include, you know, registration or whatever. But I did see a brand talking about um, having a setup for like to be selling stuff. So I don't know if other brands are going to be selling stuff there. You know, we've been begging for more opportunities to buy planner stuff and go wild. Um, mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll have some other brands who will be selling things there as well. Because I don't know why. I just love being able to buy my planner stuff that I usually have to order online. online. I love being able to just buy it in real time. So. Yeah, because sometimes I think we just were talking about this during the break. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just want one sticker sheet and it's like, mm -hmm. dang, I don't want to have to pay for shipping or, or one have, vinyl. Yeah. yeah. And you could do that when you're at these events. Um, so, yeah, excited to see if there's going to be more shops. It was really cool to have uh, Zebra last year mm -hmm. to be able to buy stuff from them. That was cool. I know. Yeah. And we Super definitely cool. bought some stuff. And when we went to um, SGS a couple of months ago, they had a whole like setup where you could buy mm -hmm. stuff and things things were purchased. It was definitely more than one thing, but it's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. That's what we wanted to <laughs> to do, and that's what we did. Yeah, and even exactly. um, I think it was Warren Phelps. Some of their stuff was sold out when we mm -hmm. went over there, and I just purchased it online. Mm -hmm. so if that was sell out. There's still a way to get traffic to these businesses on their online shops. So yep. that's, cool. that's so true. Uh, Nori said in the chat, I wish brands would set up and sell exclusives or early releases. That's really, that would be, that really would be cool. neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That get would a little, really neat. Uh, a bonus kind of thing since you're mm -hmm. in person. That's cool. Exactly. Jeanette said my wallet like that. There was not any shopping. Girl, I know, right? Literally. That's the only thing. <laughs> That Plan sense. shopping in your budget if this is going to be like we think it yeah. is. Okay, just add an extra category for um, shopping. You know, reach out to J Bay. He can give you some tips. Uh <laughs> Cut the card. <laughs> Cut the card. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. But I think with um, this will be perfect for me personally. This mm -hmm. will be perfect to have some type of shopping because been to Dallas, been to that yeah. area so many times. It's not really like a sightseeing, so I'm saving money there. Right, but right. I can pour into these other businesses. Exactly. Support small businesses. Support small businesses. Exactly. I mean, that's what it's all about. You know, yeah. that's one of the great things about Go Wild is giving all these small businesses so much exposure. And it goes even further when you're able to shop right there with them mm -hmm. in real time. So Absolutely. 
Yeah. They get to I recover some funds too. If I they know. like sponsor some tables. Yeah. But yeah. That'd That's be true. really cool. So yeah. That's true. Yeah. We'll see. Well, we will see. But yeah, shout out to the Wild team for sponsoring this episode. We are super, super excited about Go Wild Dallas. It's not too late to grab your ticket, purchase the ticket in our show notes. Mm -hmm. Um, and we can't wait to see you guys there. We really can't wait. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now we gotta get into Hey My Babies. Uh oh, into the mess on Club Shay Shay. <laughs> Now, this appearance on Club Shay Shay, it definitely garnered a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. Not quite as much attention as the Cat Williams appearance, I will say. Uh, yeah. I just, I'm just going purely based on streams because the Cat Williams streams are like, like 25, 26 million. A mil like crazy numbers. And this yeah. one did very well. I think this is like the second probably most watched episode of Club mm -hmm. Shay Shay because we already knew Monique was going to come mm -hmm. and spill some tea. The thing about Monique, Monique though is that she has been telling the story for a while. Yes, yeah, It wasn't new. a yeah. ton of new information. She gave a little bit more detail on some certain situations she talked about why she hasn't let it go and all these type of things or whatever so it was actually really refreshing to see her in that format to be you know talking about it. i think this is probably like the most concise uh mm -hmm. way that we've received like this information like i said it's the same information for the most part but you know it was crazy it was a good interview it was long but it was good yeah yeah um Club Shay Shay is just kind of turned into here's where you come to pop your shit. Yeah. <laughs> I've born because yeah. uh, Shannon will not, you know, he'll let you talk basically. He, he will, will let, you talk. let you talk. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the only thing new, I, I kind of had an idea that she had a strange, a, a strange, a strange, mm -hmm. thank you, relationship with her oldest son. Yeah. Um, like I vaguely knew that, but I feel like we got a little bit more unintentionally because i didn't think she she didn't think this this was going to turn into what she it turned into <laughs> this so all. yeah we did yeah. get a little bit more this wasn't technically on the show she just brought up that relationship with her son and she basically made it seem like you know i hope you know time will heal things and, you know she kept it kind of vague overall yeah she did but her son didn't here <laughs> he said keep my name he did <laughs> He and you know what his first because he came on TikTok and he made a video mm -hmm. and he was just like he he basically was just like is no reason to one bring me up because it really wasn't a reason for her to bring him up in that interview like I said, yeah, it was really it was a blip on the radar it was maybe a minute out of the entire three hour interview mm -hmm. that she talked about him but he was basically like don't bring me up and misconstrue why our relationship is the way that it is. It's the way that it is because you're not interested in being my mom and I don't want to be your son. Don't make it seem all flowery. Like we just got to work yeah. through things and time is going to heal us when time ain't the issue is really what he was saying. He yeah. didn't go into detail. He didn't bash his mom. He really didn't. He was just clearing up that aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And then it turned into kind of a back and forth because Monique and her husband, um don't know how to work a phone camera it has so much space at the top of the video. They, don't. they don't literally the top of the head is what we saw. and they really it seems like we kind of got to see what probably is the big problem with them is that he is her son is speaking and monique is not listening and neither is her her husband because they addressed things that the son didn't even come close to bringing up. They just started throwing in his face the fact that we didn't pay for this, we didn't pay for that, we didn't gave you a you know, a down payment on this, which her son never said this. She didn't help mm -mm. him financially at some point. He said it's just more than that. And I feel like uh, what you deal with with a lot of one, parents, and two, people who got money is that they try to make their money their problems go away by throwing money yeah. at it. And yeah. her, them bringing those type of receipts just back that up that you just trying to throw money at your kid and it's not making your problems with him go away. So, yeah, it's just sad. It was really sad to see. Mm -hmm. Um, it's sad to see that a lot of other people go through this with their parents too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think Monique thought that a lot of people were going to be on her side when she dropped them receipts mm -hmm. and obviously her fans are her fans. They're going to mm -hmm. be on her side, but the vast majority of people are like, I have a parent like this. I have a family mm -hmm. member that is like this that I had to cut off. So, like, you know, we team, you know, Shalon, your son. Yeah. yeah. So it it was just 
it was just sad because one, it was just unnecessary. She shouldn't have even brought it up at all. Yeah. Um, but it's also sad to see that. And what's really interesting, um, if y'all don't know, Monique's current husband is not his dad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So she had him, and then with her current husband, they have like three more boys. And it's sad to see that they have a really good relationship, you know, on the surface from what we know with yeah. the three younger boys. And he is just over here left out, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It just sucks. Yeah. It, it sucks. sucks. I think that any goodwill and publicity that Moni got out of being on Club Shay, Shay Shay was absolutely sour. By yeah. After Shay that. Yeah. For her son. Because like you said, her diehard fans are going to be on her side no matter what mm-hmm. but the vast majority of the public from what i saw was like mm, mm, side you eye. Want oprah and tyler perry and all these people who ain't your family to make things right with you and you're not even trying to make things right with your child yeah like be so for real girl yeah yeah that just left a really sour taste in my na- mouth about mm-hmm. monique because the things that her son was asking or saying that he wants from her yeah. It's kind of the same things that she is asking from Mo, uh, not Monique, uh, Oprah and yeah. Tyler Perry. Accountability, so, accountability, like mm-hmm. yeah. And she, if you're not willing to do that with your child, like why? How can I be on your side for Tyler Perry and exactly Oprah? Like girl, yeah. yeah. And she did. She not too long after that saying she did a stand up because you know she's on tour with Cat Williams, and she brought up her son <sighs> with that too, and she said that. She made she shared this story about this old lady in the airport coming up to her and telling her F him or F these kids or whatever. And it didn't hit the way she wanted it to. Yeah. It didn't hit to the she crowd that was yeah. watching and it didn't hit on social media either. So it's now it's like now it's like F your son. Yikes. Mind you, on the Club Shay Shay podcast or whatever video mm-hmm. thing, she said, you know, Oprah had her family on when Oprah was mm-hmm. doing the show, mm-hmm. and people came up to her like you know, going off on her mom, which she's like, yeah, it's true. I don't fuck with her either, but that's awkward for me. Like, that's still my mama, you know? Yeah. yeah. But you were okay with somebody doing that and talking shit about your son? Like, girl, make it make sense. It's not clicking. <laughs> it's, it's not clicking. It's not clicking at all. And yeah, I just, I, I think with the Club Shay Shay interview, I think this gave, like, uh, Cat Williams a very big boost. I don't think it did that for Monique. Because like I said, mm-hmm. this stuff, it was this stuff with her son really soured it and everything else that she talked about is stuff that people already knew yeah so. yeah i think she assumed this is going to go a different way and the yeah. thing like somebody another mm-hmm. podcast brought this up but the thing with um cat there was still a lot of comedians and a lot of people in his industry that came out and was like i love this dude he helped me da 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 we haven't seen any of that with monique so it, mm-hmm. it's kind of like i you know, support black women, mm-hmm. get your money. But also it's like, is there a little bit of truth? Are you difficult to work with? Because how is there nobody coming out being like, oh, you know, we love Monique, we work with her, da da yeah. da. Nobody came out and said that. But there were several people who did. That's true. That's true. Mm. I don't know. It's just, mm. I don't know when there's smoke, there's fire a yeah. lot of the time. Yeah. Um, and I feel like mm, Monique does a lot of trying to you know, make sure everybody else's, you know, stuff is clean and hers ain't. Like, she throwing stones from a glass house yeah. and has been for a very long time, so. I, I hate to yikes. say it, but it's it's given that Kanye, Kanye-ism, it's what mm-hmm. I like to call it, where Monique only care about being a Black woman mm-hmm. when it affects her. Because, mm. like, where's these other Black women that you helping? Yeah, I know. Like push up and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Because it's like her her plight has always felt very centered around herself, and mm-hmm. I would respect that if she would acknowledge that. Yeah, but she always tries to kind of play it like she here for everybody, and she trying to make sure we all get what we. Need. And I don't think it's that. I think it's if Monique is good, Monique is good, and that's what she's yeah, and about. she's okay she's with that. Honest. And I hate yeah. that. We so, not her you know. sweet babies for real. No, we no we the sweet Mm-mm. babies is not dating. <laughs> Because no. it don't if it don't affect her, she don't care. She not I know. nobody else and, up. And it's again, up. I wasn't thinking about all this until the stuff for her mm-hmm. son. And like I was good, I was good with money, but the stuff for her son really put a bad taste in my mouth. And it honestly, really she did. wouldn't have brought it up. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't have came up here. Like she they have been playing. existing like that for yeah. years. So yeah. Yeah, she would have been playing. Yeah. But um also we gotta talk about Usher. 
featuring the Super Bowl. Oh my gosh, so much Ugh. stuff has gone down this month. Um, I don't want to talk about the Super Bowl. I'm going to be real honest, y'all. Like, y'all know I'm not a sports girly. I'm definitely not a football girly. I really did not have a dog in Check the fight. Club Shay Shay or whatever podcast you talk about sports. Right, <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, the Super Bowl itself, I was just kind of like, meh. But I feel, I feel like the commercials were very meh, too, except for one commercial, which we will talk about, um, that literally changed lives and changed the trajectory of history. But um, we'll get there. I did see. like the Duckin' <laughs> Super Bowl commercial. I thought that was cute. That was cute. Yeah, that's it. That's the only yeah. one I remember in, besides I the Hobby Lobby one. I didn't appreciate the very religious of uh, commercials yeah. the pro certain country commercials at mm. also apparently we're saying timu wrong why does timu have three million dollars plus to send on to spend on multiple super bowl commercials check y'all bank statements <laughs> make sure they not just take your sense out of y'all account and y'all don't even know this okay because i don't I like how they got all that money for all these super bowl commercials three. They had three to make us say their name right, and I still think I'm saying I it wrong. I still don't know it. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> definitely check. Definitely check y'all statements for sure. Ever since that came out, that that be happening, I just haven't. I don't trust I was, it. Yeah, I always thought about, oh, I'll, I can get some, like, desk office stuff mm-hmm. or something, but mm-hmm. yeah, I never took the plunge because of that, but. And I'm not going to. Mm-mm. No. Sorry. To anyway, you. <laughs> sorry to them. Um, but Usher, I thought was fantastic. I really mm-hmm. enjoyed his um his halftime performance. I've seen kind of mixed reviews about it, but I honestly think that it's either coming from people who are not familiar with his music and are not fans of Usher, which yeah. I think is fair. If it yeah. wasn't for you, it was for you. And also people who I think are just being overly critical and have way too high of expectations. Like everybody's Super Bowl performance is not going to be Beyonce. It's just mm-hmm. not. But I think that he is, his was really good in its own right, you know? Yeah, I thought it was perfect for, you know, they Super Bowl was in Vegas. Very mm-hmm. Vegas-like, very showy. A lot of yes. stuff going on. So I think it was really on brand. Mm-hmm. Um, if you grew up with Usher, if you're an Usher fan, you were singing that whole performance. Mm-hmm. Um, I really enjoyed it, being able to see, like, other people that he's worked with. Yes. Like John, JD, Luda. Mm-hmm. Um all of them come up on stage. Her came on the stage. Her, Alicia, Alicia Keys, Keys. Which y'all, get get off my sister Alicia Keys, okay? They fixed it in post. Exactly. <laughs> Let her live. <laughs> <laughs> they fixed it. <laughs> There's no evidence of it anywhere. I love Alicia Keys. Y'all need to leave her alone. Leave her alone. She did amazing. Oh I, you she know? looks amazing. She, she looks always great. looks amazing too. But we know the vocals don't be vocal in some time. But we still love her anyway. Yeah. Okay. You know? Look, 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 we had J-Lo on the Super Bowl stage a couple of years ago, and it don't even be her vocals. At least this was Alicia's vocals, okay? You know, Get everybody has a hiccup. Everybody. Beyonce don't sing a perfect tune every time. Oh. Don't, don't she? <laughs> I feel like everybody else's faves are not perfect. Ours actually is, though, so. Well. It's fine. It's okay, yeah. I know you just want to make Beyonce more relatable. I know, she, I'm trying. But she not. She I'm not. trying. She not. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> She's actually not human. Oh. It's fine. But we, we love Alicia. And we do. it's fixed in post as it, it would be anywhere else. So let her live. It was a great performance. Loved every moment Wait, of he it. He brought the skates. He changed into skates. He girl. skated. And Come still on. was singing. I love like her. Beast, yeah. And he still looks like he did like 25 years ago. The man is not aged. The hairline has not moved. It has not. I don't know how. Gorgeous. I don't gorgeous, know. Gorgeous man. And he brought out the classic U chain. He was wearing it. Mm-hmm. He did. You, yeah. You know, you know. If you're an Usher fan, yeah. you got your whole entire life. Absolutely. But like I said, yeah. like the Super Bowl half show is just, it's so particular. Like it is not going to connect with everybody. It's just not. So. But I, yeah, I it was it. for us. It was. It was for us. I, yeah, I the it. U and Usher stands for us. A- not y'all. Absolutely. <laughs> That's exactly what it stands for, and he gave it to. <laughs> he did. He did. Uh, he just did an amazing job. Oh, so good. Yeah. Julie says skating, dancing, singing, wardrobe changes is was fire. It was fire. And like a thirty-minute show 
Overall? Like 15. It was 15 minutes. It wasn't even 30. Oh. It was 15 minutes. It was one of the longest ones at 15 minutes. Crazy. They give them like no time. So it's like, how do you, you basically have to summarize your whole career in like 12 to 15 minutes. How do you do that? I think he did it perfectly. I think so too. Yeah. Also, I do love that commercial he was in. I don't know what it was for, but they were like, mm-hmm. don't you got somewhere to be? It's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was <laughs> With the that same jacket. And you know, content. I feel like Usher worked this perfectly because apparently the artists don't get paid directly for yeah. the Super Bowl performance, but he had music come out. Mm-hmm. He had a tour, tour dates, it's tickets. Literally like, paid he exposure. maximized this mm-hmm. to the, to literally, I mean, he was adding tour stops because of just the demand for mm-hmm. it so shout out to usher he probably gonna clear millions of dollars because of this he deserves it usher don't get enough yeah. credit he really really don't i love the mom shout out mm-hmm. like yeah he's so sweet so, yeah he's such a, a nice sweetheart. guy I love we it. don't know him but yeah i want to <laughs> he seems very nice I want to know him exactly <laughs> But that was fun. I had so, so fun. much fun. Yeah. Yes. And because this was another criticism. People, some people were saying that did Beyonce take Usher Thunder? I say she didn't because her announcement was after his performance. It was not even directly yeah, after. Yeah, wasn't nobody watching the rest of the Super Bowl at that point no. anyway. So don't no, matter. no, no. We were just waiting on Beyonce. <laughs> waiting on Beyonce commercial. Yes, because Verizon did that. That was the best mm-hmm. commercial ever. Danny asked us a few minutes minutes ago in all caps, are we about to talk about Beyonce? Yes, yes. we are about to talk about Beyonce. And the that- many different like types of Beyonce in the commercial. I love gamer Beyonce. I thought that was so cute. I, I knew you would connect with streaming <laughs> Beyonce. That was so cute. I love Barbie, even though I don't know why she said Barbie. I feel like Barbie must be copyrighted. It, even yeah. to say it, it had to be. Because yeah. we were all like, wait a minute, we've been calling you B. What is Bay now? Like, what's going on? And she pronounced, we <laughs> went back into the archives and when she said her name, she pronounced it B. She does. So I, it has to be some type of it has right. to be. Yeah. It has to be. But yes, that commercial was so fun and yeah. it was so cute. And the very last second of the commercial, she said, drop the new music. And, and I feel like time froze. Viral. <laughs> <laughs> we literally everybody's viral. like, who has title? <laughs> we must <laughs> I have never refreshed an Instagram page as much as I did that. I went to her Instagram page. I just kept refreshing. I just kept Girl, refreshing. I'm refreshing like, Spotify. None All of us had title because we was mm-hmm. like, oh, dad, she going to drop it on her husband uh, app. I got that Apple Music free trial so quick that I, I already canceled. <laughs> Cancel that. Literally, Julie said the internet broke. It, Literally. Like, we were all, like, game, what game? What, what are y'all? Are they still playing football? Oh, okay. That's cute. Anyway, mm-hmm. where the new music? <laughs> yeah. Tay Tay and, you know, her boyfriend out there got the game. We, we need like, to find so the music. We love that for y'all. Yeah. Where's this music? And then the mother is just at the Super Bowl, just on her phone, like, she went casual, breaking the internet. And soon after she posted, she kind of looked up, had a little smirk on her face. Like, she knew. She knew he was going absolutely nuts. So allegedly, or what the people were saying, I don't know if it's true. Um, mm-hmm. there there was no leaks of it because the streaming services didn't even have the files until after that. Wow. So I really think she went, you know. Wow. So that was post. why we had like a slight a little bit delay of slight and delay. why it wasn't available the exact minute. Mm-hmm. But I think that was perfect because we literally had five minutes, five minutes of like absolute spiral. Sure. Panic. Literally. Literally. And, uh, I guess Verizon still didn't break. So Verizon they, did that. <laughs> they, they did ate, that. They, they ate, ate that up. I'm not they switching though. That y'all up. cost too much. But y'all okay. ate. <laughs> but that's amazing. And y'all have that forever over everybody else. Like, so oh. the new music dropped and Beyonce announced that Act Two of Renaissance is coming out on March 29th, just in time for Go Wild. And it mm-hmm. is a country album the first single takes his hold on and then the second single 16 carriages literally amazing i'm literally mm-hmm. obsessed i've been listening to it non-stop and i think i like country music now like i've been following other black country oh, artists so many great and artists. finding their music and it's so good it's genuinely so good it's really good never would have thought i was a country girl Mm-mm. a country 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> however exactly. you pronounce it. But yeah, I just, I love this and I love what I was worried about. And I think a lot of black people, you know, in particularly was like, mm, I never really felt welcome in the genre mm-hmm. of country. So we never gave, it a real um, chance. never really gave it a real mm-hmm. chance. Although, you know, it, really generated with black people but you know Mm -hmm. um but what i found really refreshing is that people at least on social media from what i've seen yeah really embrace beyonce like bringing Mm -hmm. us that people who don't usually listen to country into the genre into finding all these other artists so many people so many country artists is like Hey, if you are really enjoying these songs from Beyonce, check out these artists. Mm-hmm. Like it just felt very welcoming. Yeah. And I think we were super nervous and like really on the defense because that one radio show was about to get canceled. But they girl, but then they the backed shit. all the way up. We was ready because we just knew mm-hmm. that it was going to be on some um racist bullshit. Mm-hmm. But I think that was the only like instance that I That's seen. the only one I saw yeah. too. And they yeah. fixed it. I think the ripple effect of how this has helped other black country artists is absolutely mm-hmm. amazing. Uh Danny just brought up in the chat. I don't know if I've been living under a rock, but I found Raina Roberts and I'm obsessed. Obsessed, obsessed with her. Yes. Obsessed with this <laughs> other girl named Tanner Adele. Um, she is so good too. Like, I just love, I think that's my favorite thing about all this. Like I said, just the ripple effect of how it's helping other black artists, um, who, you know, still probably just took a chance in the genre and are able to benefit from all of us giving their music a shot also. And Beyonce became the first black woman to top Billboard country charts with Texas Hold'em. Period. As she should. Period. As she should. And I'm glad that she is reclaiming black music mm-hmm. like Infinity Stone. <laughs> what genre, what, did, what genre <laughs> is next? Okay, let's just keep it going. Yeah, I'm so excited. I, so yeah, good. It's perfect timing. I'm really excited to like get into this new um, country music and country mm-hmm. artists. I'm excited to have that album and be able to play it like 50, 11 times before Go Wild. No, literally. I, yeah, we gotta learn the line dance. I'm I'm sorry to see people making slightly more um simple ones because the folks Without who was split? originally making it, yeah, was doing too okay. much. Y'all was doing too much. We need something <laughs> simple. We just mm-hmm. need something very simple. Um, but yeah, it's just been amazing to see everybody just having so much fun because Texas Hold'em is just such a fun song, and 16 Carriages is just so like powerful it, and yeah. meaningful. And I've also been giving uh daddy lessons. A spin. a spin. Yes, I love it. I always love Daddy Lessons and now like having it within the context of these other songs too. So I love she gave us that little that little Hint. sample, that little Hint. appetizer this is a few years do. ago. Yeah. Yep, she sure did. Uh Danny said my country music is black, brown, and even queer. Period. Yes. That's the same. Like all music should be for all of us. Like, come on. Yeah, that's one thing, like music or food. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that should be one thing that unites everybody. Music no should be either. for, yeah, mm-hmm. for all. And I know as Beyonce fans and just as Black people, we were a little worried. That's why we was about mm-hmm. to pull up on that, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> that radio station because mm-hmm. we don't feel like welcome in those spaces. But I'm, I'm glad that, you know, um, the country space is being a little bit more open. Mm-hmm. I heard a lot of people saying like it kind of started like being a lot more open um since uh little Nas X when he had okay. that, that yeah. track. And then mm-hmm. with Billy Ray getting on it kind of because he had yeah. to. I think they wouldn't yeah. play Old Town Road or something on country radio or they wouldn't let it chart until yeah. and that's one of the reasons why Billy Ray Cyrus hopped on it and that Shout out to him. I understand him. That was so freaking cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he yeah. shouldn't have had to. Yeah, he shouldn't have had to. But I, but I feel they said since that happened mm-hmm. and they have started to be a little bit more open. But it shouldn't even have to take all that. But whatever. You know um, how America works. Yeah. That's why we was worried with this genre. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm I'm excited. I, I'm i so excited about this album. It's going to be so good. And like you said, it's coming at the perfect time mm-hmm. for Go Wild. So... Yeah, Danny yes. said if Taylor and uh, Beyonce collab on a track, I'm waiting. I'm sorry. S- please move over like <laughs> you did with um, Celine Dion Taylor. I'm waiting on the Dolly and Beyonce collab. That's what that's what it it, it needs to give. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mm-hmm. need Dolly. I need Dolly. 
And she says she ready. Yeah. Because so, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I know y'all got each other number. Y'all know <laughs> I, I love Tay Tay now. I love Tay Tay music. I don't want Tay Tay to be on the track with Beyonce because it's the fans, really. No, the, you oh, the share the vocals. spotlight. Too. You, not that, but you got to have the vocals to be on the track with Beyonce. And Tay will give us a it. lot of things. Vocals is not one of them. I'm sorry. Y'all know that it's true. Okay? Like, no. that mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. But Dolly got it. Dolly got the vocals. Mm -hmm. Dolly has the vocals. Taylor can write a song for Beyonce. Very good. Beautiful gown. Beautiful. <laughs> she can write a song for Beyonce. I don't think she should sing. I don't think that'll be good. It'll be like, like, I ain't gonna drag no other singers. But yeah, yeah, let's just... No, Danny. <laughs> do you think? Do you think um, they will be better collabing in a more of a pop? Because you know, Tay Tay kind of move over into pop. To me, it feels more poppy than traditional country. Will it be better if they collabed on that? Mm -mm. Would it be better if Beyonce rapped and she singed? It. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, I'm trying, don't Tay. Need, don't need to happen. <laughs> don't need to happen. Try. I think most of the singers that Beyonce has collab with have come pretty strong with, with the vocals. Like Lady Gaga, she got the vocals for sure. Um, yeah, but that was more know. poppy. Song too. And that's what I'm saying. You didn't even really need the vocals, but yeah. she still had them, period. So I don't know. Maybe poppy would be a little bit better, but I just don't see it. I, I just don't see it. I yeah. think they could just. I mean, if it happened, early. it ain't happening no time soon because Beyonce full blown in her country era. She busy. Yeah. She booked it. So does Taylor. Taylor has yeah. a new album coming out as well soon. Um, it's actually what if coming it's up the weekend. Of go <laughs> it's coming out the weekend to go wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's gonna be interesting. Uh huh. It's gonna be interesting. But yeah, it's just an exciting time in, in music right now. I just love yeah. the girls out, you know, dropping albums and doing so much cool stuff. Apparently, Lana Del Rey is dropping a new album, and that's supposed to have like. A country flair to it as well. I think that could be mm. really cool. So yeah, um, I'm just we just not gonna pay attention to album of the year next year because you are another Grammy's gonna pull some bullshit and we don't have time. I'm literally not tuning in. Literally not. You know what? We might just have to pull up on the CMAs, <laughs> see what they give. <laughs> Cause Grammy's not gonna give it. Give me your sacred things, exactly. <laughs> Hopefully, CMAs get it together. Yeah, I got plenty of time. I don't trust them either, but yeah, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Um, last thing I want to chat about real quick before we take a quick break is Risa Tisa turning TikTok into a long form content platform single handedly. Yeah, TikTok should have been hiring her as they know they're trying to move into long form. Exactly, she was right I there the whole time. <laughs> She was right there. Look, black people, we really dominated this uh black history month. Look, we can't look, we came through and showed out. We came, we saw we conquered <sighs> on on every platform, every avenue, because Reason Teaser had me in the show called. There was no way I when I first saw what was going on with her and this 52 part story, each part is 10 minutes long. Mm -hmm. I was like, there is no way. I'm about to listen to this whole thing. And I was like, you know what? Everybody's talking about it. I'm so curious to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Let me just tune in and see. And man, this woman, she had me in the chokehold for two and a half days. She's such a great storyteller. She has such a fantastic memory. And I think mm -hmm. so many of us can empathize with being stuck with a brokey and not being able to get out. <laughs> like, it was just engaging. It was relatable. Mm -hmm. And you just wanted her to win. Like, you could tell the story weighing on her as the parts kept going on and on and on. And I was just absolutely just, I was just in it. And I just want her to win. I just want her to have all the good things. It was crazy. I think, and you know, all the social media gurus are giving their hot takes on mm -hmm. what we need to do now since this came out. But I think the biggest thing, and I've been seeing them say this, but the biggest thing of why this popped off so much is relatability, like you mm -hmm. said. And she was just so authentic. Mm -hmm. Like, this is mm -hmm. just a real, everyday, regular, degler story. This is your friend coming to you to be like, 
girl, this is this is what happened. Yeah. And that's the yeah. way it felt. And you like you go into it like, damn, 50 parts, 10 minutes each. Like, oh, hell no. Nah. But when mm-hmm. you start watching it, you are hooked. That's so true. You are truly hooked. Um, I think timing kind of worked in her interest, too, because this was right before President's Day holiday weekend. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people had a little bit more time on their hands. Um, I love that, like, after the parts was done, she kind of talked about, she had a reunion, is what we calling it. She just went live. <laughs> but um, she said, like, I told it this way because I wanted it to be like an audio book. I did not expect y'all to just sit there and watch me, like, you know, everything that the guru said, have yeah. perfect lighting. It was dark as hell on some of these videos. Mm-hmm. Have perfect sound. She's mm-hmm. filming these in her car. like On her phone. On her phone. Yeah. So she did, quote unquote, everything wrong, but her uh, relatability and just being authentic, like, yep. is what it's about. Like, stop worrying about all the equipment and all that stuff. Like, it's... it's and her just, attention to detail. Yeah. Like, the detail she's a great fact, storyteller. Yeah, four years after the fact is just so, so good. And I yeah. think... Because I saw Crystal said she needs the clip, the Spark Notes version. I totally get that. I totally get that. Yeah. But y'all, I don't think any Spark Notes or whatever can do it justice. Because it it's really not yeah. just about the details. It's really about her and the way she told it. Which is why, mm-hmm. like, it's literally an audiobook. Think of it as a seven-hour audiobook. <laughs> and just listen to it that way because yeah. I mean I didn't try to force myself to listen to this all in one day or in one sitting. Every time mm-hmm. I ended up a part and I knew I was gonna come back, I just bookmarked the next part and went about my day. Um, yeah, and if you go back to the playlist, TikTok will tell you where you left off too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, definitely like yeah. Crystal. I know you you on your audio book and re- treat it like that. Add I think when you TBR. get that mindset, it's yep. like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> Add yeah. it to the TBR. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because oh, wow. it was just, it was the way she told it. And it's like every part, especially once you got it really into it, I think once you got to a part, maybe like six or seven, mm-hmm. every single part, my, my jaw would just be on the floor. And she knew to end it at the most perfect time to kind of leave you hanging for just a minute. Mm-hmm. It was so good. Like, I was so happy that I got to watch it once all the parts were out and mm-hmm. I didn't have to wait. But even with the waiting, I think she ended it at the right moment and she would be like, okay, y'all, I'm we'll going to pick back up tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then she would do it. She was just so consistent. So I think even watching it in real time probably wasn't that bad. But yeah. being able to watch all the parts um, after the fact, now that it's all out, it's even better. And yeah, the man she talked yeah. about in this Legion, he been doing some foolery online, which is just adding <laughs> to the story. Even it's, now. Yeah, it's he still printing out documents. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Like I, and I, she would agree that she definitely was dumb in some areas. Yes, that's but the thing. I don't really blame her because this man had props. He yeah. was lying with props. With props. And this stuff is like, why would you lie <laughs> about this? Why would you be like, I'm putting in a cash offer for seven hundred thousand dollars? Who has that in cash? I never want to hear proof of funds again. I never want to hear proof of funds. Yeah, and being like again. buying a house and going through that process, uh-huh. knowing how ridiculous. And I get that she said she's never bought a house, she's never been through that process. So I can get why she yeah really understand, but it's like. How is this happening? How are they putting in offers? And y'all don't even know if you have the funds. I know. That's I know. crazy. And you know what? I think without giving too much away, I think the most interesting thing was to me, I just kept waiting on her to say that she was, you know, giving him some type of financial help or whatever. And that was his motive for doing this. And that never came. So we still to this day don't know why this man was just lying like crazy. Like he really wasn't using her for money. He was helping pay the bills. Yeah. Like what was, was just, the benefit? I, it's like he lying. just got off of, like she said, he just kind of got off of bringing her to a high and get her excited and just to let and down. Disappointing her. Yeah. 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 Which so. Yeah, something we that highly I really recommend. Can't understand, but yeah, go go listen to Reese's Tisa story. Um, it's been I think she's probably so overwhelmed by the amount of support that she's gotten mm-hmm. too, because there has been 
brands reaching out to her, Delta talking about they'll fly her to um to London and Paris because this was the whole part, this trip that she was supposed to take in the story, like BMW coming through about, about getting her a car because he had promised her this car. Like it's just so much. So I hope that she feels the love and the support and I hope she takes the social media. <laughs> break because i yeah. know it's probably overwhelming yeah i hope she does too. jay bay said it's called edge <laughs> which is true <laughs> which is there we go but yeah, yeah. uh great one to listen to definitely mm-hmm. um i think if you take it as a mindset of it being an audiobook it won't seem as overwhelming exactly yep. yeah I think so too. Mm-hmm. Crystal says she needs to win a social media award for one of these award shows like NAACP has one for social media. Per- oh, 100%. Mm-hmm. 100% she does because I don't think I have never paid less attention to my For You page than I did for these two and a half days. Like I literally was only on TikTok to watch her. And mm-hmm. when I needed a break because this whole Legion story was so freaking draining, I got off TikTok completely. <laughs> I was not doing any other scrolling. <laughs> Yeah, it's wild. So many different sides of TikTok too. Like mm-hmm. people started popping up on my for you page. I'm like, you ain't supposed to be here, but they was talking about Risa T. So I'm like, <laughs> it, this is I've never seen yeah. anything take over the internet like this. No, it really did. It's it insane. Really did. Everybody was yeah. just tuned in. Yeah. Oh, um, Julie said he's on his Canva game. Oh, Canva game strong. How because- can he sponsor him? Cause you gonna sell, you gonna uh-huh. sell. Kevin, okay, you gonna sell. Maybe some he needs to do like an online class. <laughs> I see somebody in the comments like he's still printing out stuff. I'm looking for a printer. Like what printer? Do we use? No, literally. Oh, no, no, it was so. this one girl <laughs> made a TikTok, and it was like my her boyfriend just bought a printer, and she was suspicious. <laughs> she was like, what you got a printer for? Now? That's another thing. Like this story had us like. Do I know your social? Literally. Where's your birth certificate? Literally. And it's where's like the this. Proof of funds? Where's where the proof, is the proof of, of funds? <laughs> it's like <sighs> to your spouse that you know since high school. And you like what school you went to. So good. <laughs> I mean, oh my sure. gosh. It yeah, was so good. I, I am. But yeah. I yeah. What Check a time. Out. What a time. I yeah. can't wait. Like I, cause this year I have been just slowly updating our uh, for our 2024 recap mm-hmm. show instead of trying to do it all at the end of the year. Who February is stacked. February is stacked. And I cannot wait to look back on this time at the end of the year and you know be able to check in with Reese T to see what she got going on. Yeah. Um talk about Beyonce's album at the end of the year once we had it out and have listened to it and stuff. So it's a lot. It's yep. definitely a lot. I'm Veronica excited. said even I was suspicious and I'm single. <laughs> Look, you gotta keep your head on a swivel. No, really, that is crazy. What really? is Atlanta? Is not a real place, y'all. Like, Atlanta's what is happening in Atlanta? Left and right, it's been too much for Keith Atlanta. Lee oh. effect happening in Atlanta. That apparently whole thing. the oyster girl was in Atlanta too. Atlanta is not real. Atlanta got too much. Going Take on. Atlanta off the go wild list. It's Atlanta not a real place. <laughs> wow. All oh right, guys. But yeah, y'all, we're going to take a quick break um, and then we're going to come back and finish the show. Okay, y'all, so we are back and let's finish up the episode. So one thing we definitely need to talk about real quick is Love is Blind season six. Me and Myra have been just locked and loaded on the season and just been soaking it all up. We just recorded our bonus episode. It is a Patreon exclusive, but we went Mm -hmm. all in with all the spoilers and everything for everything that has happened so far on season six of love is blind. So if y'all want to really get into the nitty gritty, make sure you are on our Patreon and you listen to that episode um, because we talk about everything, but we did just want to give y'all a quick spoiler free overview of how we're feeling about the season so far. So Myra, if you could describe this season six of love is blind with no spoilers in like a couple words or one word, what would you say? a couple words Mm -hmm. i think i I always sum it up as everybody on the show is dumb okay yeah that's fair um (laughs) but 
but yeah, that that will be my summary. Mm-hmm. I, it is much better than last season. So if mm-hmm. you've been holding out because last season was absolutely garbage, mm-hmm. it is better. It is yep. definitely much much better. Agreed. I think I would say that I am just on the edge of my seat. Like every episode, every couple of episodes, when we have a little cliffhanger, we don't know what's gonna happen on the next episode. I am just like so thirsty to see what happens. And without naming the couple, I think only one couple is actually going to get married mm-hmm. and stay married. I actually hope that's the case because the rest of the couples ain't got no business being in <laughs> like none, none whatsoever. <laughs> none, none whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one, I think this season is kind of messy. It's messy, but in a good way. In a good way. Well, not in for the contestants, way. but yeah, in yeah. an entertaining way for sure. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I mean, some of the things it's like, wow, you know, you filming a TV show, right? Mm-hmm. Like, why are we, when you be on your best behavior, but, mm-hmm. you know, entertaining for us, for sure. Oh, they're giving it. Yeah. They are giving it. Um, yeah, Jeanette said there's only one couple that should get married. Julie mm-hmm. said entertainingly messy. Danny said our review last year made him not to watch, not want to watch it. <laughs> We just be honest. Okay? Yeah. And I'm glad that this has been a turnaround from last year because I, I said I was going to give this season or last last season because I mm-hmm. think no, it was last year. Last season was last year. Because we had two seasons. We, last had, two, year. we had four yeah. and five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm glad that they turned it around because yes. if this was about to be a dumpster fire like season five was, I just would have been out. Yeah. Yeah, for I'd sure. This out. is definitely not a dumpster fire. Mm-mm. But it's it's good. It's really, really good. Uh, Nori said, very messy. That Uno reverse at the end of episode nine took me out. Out. Uno reverse. Ooh. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we are really enjoying this season. And like I said, if y'all want our just uncut, uncensored thoughts on the season of uh, episode nine, Full spoilers, definitely make sure yeah. you're on the Patreon and y'all will have the episode this week. Um, and I'm excited to see how this season ends. I really, really am. It's going to be good. So we got a few more episodes and then the reunion towards like the middle of March. Mm-hmm. So I'm ready. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Yeah. I'm wondering if we're going to get a second season this year too. I if I had I to guess, like, I would say yeah. Because yeah. it's so early in the year for them to put it out, too, especially since they did two last year. I think we're getting two this year, too. I also, think by the fall, we're going to have another season. Yeah, I would love and Hopefully it's good. But I would love to see that. Yeah. Um, did you know they had a Love is Blind wine? Mm-mm. What is? Oh, like an actual wine that mm-hmm. you can drink? Oh. Yeah, I was going to send it to you because mm. it's not so anywhere in Ohio. Just yeah. so you could check. You know your Tennessee street. Yeah, check me. Take, yeah, send it to me. So mm-hmm. just bring it to watch. Cause I would love. It's like in the golden bottle. If you know love is blind, you know yeah, how they always they have this like golden that. chalices. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, send it to me. One. They don't sell it online. I know uh, some states you can't buy alcohol, but I can buy can. alcohol online. But mm-hmm. I didn't see it available for purchase online. Okay. Send but it yeah, to me. I'll, yeah, I'll it. send you a link. Oh, that would be good to have it go. <laughs> I know. I mean, I don't know if it's good or anything, but just as a prop. I mean, we talk about Love is Blind all the time, so it's mm-hmm. kind of like podcast history now. Exactly. We need the golden chalices. Okay, I'll put the, the link in the chat because this you can put in like your zip code and see if it's okay. anywhere close. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, okay, so a few planner things that we have. Um, Notique, shout out to VJ. Can't wait to see her and go wild. They are having their mm-hmm. spring release right now. So far, I have seen two new colors. They have a navy pro pebble and they have a pink rose saffiano and they are both really gorgeous i haven't seen them in every single size yet um but i have seen it in a6 and in the slim plus wallet which i think is like a like a hobonichi weeks Mm -hmm. type of size for though and they look gorgeous okay yeah i'm gonna have to check out the navy i think the pink Mm -hmm. the pink is too springy for me I love the pink. I'm obsessed. It's so pretty. I'm it's so pretty. Oh I'm in my colorful era. It's so good. Uh, Yeah, I think Mm -hmm. I feel like we our eras be opposite because I'm not in the like 
keep it neutral. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I'm like, ooh, navy? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and the navy is gorgeous too. The navy is gorgeous too. And there's a bunch of new stuff on Otique. They have oh, their fanny pack. The they have their belt bag. They have these uh, card cases. So freaking cute. <sighs> VJ, if you yeah. do a table with a fanny pack on it, I'm there. Sign me up. I'm I'm throwing bows. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it's not elegant. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not elegant, but I she, need that fanny. She ain't no diva. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. I really love the brown. I'm really into the um browns. What color is this called? On is it here? camel? It's like a camel type of brown. Yeah, is cinnamon, cinnamon, lisi. See, yeah, look, yeah, I ain't no, even elegant, elegant enough to read this. Me, I don't know how to pronounce this, okay? <laughs> but it's so good. Uh, it's so pretty. It's so good. Oh man, I love it, and it's long enough. Like if you like your fannies like crossbody, mm -hmm. it's long enough to do that. Exactly. Oh, it's perfect for wild. So I might, perfect. I might just go ahead and call. Oh, but, perfect. Uh, it's so and good. Jeanette in the chat says she has the pink saffiano. She loves it. Danny said I got to see Jeanette's yesterday, and damn, it's beautiful. It's giving Barbie. It is giving Barbie. I can, I can mess okay. with if it's giving Barbie. It's giving Barbie. I love Damn. it. Crystal said, I have the card case with the accordion. It's nice. The fanny pack is so nice. The quality is so good. I already know. Yes. Yeah. I cannot I wait. It. I can't wait to see what else she come with. And yeah, it's going to be a, um, it might be the Hunger Games and, and go wild on that Friday morning because I think I'm going to need to be at this uh, no tea table real bad. <laughs> real bad. <laughs> real bad. <laughs> Oh my oh. gosh, so much cute stuff. Yeah, um, I love it. Also, EC came out with some new notebooks. They also have a seasonal surprise bundle. They did not call it a box, so they did call it a bundle. As of this today's recording, it is still available on the EC website. If y'all are interested, if y'all got it um, or getting it, let us know how it is. But I don't know. It's just, you know, it's just, I'm glad they got some new stuff coming. Um. Yeah. Myra, what say you? I mean, it's something is out here for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I know is. a lot of people wanted yeah. this to come back. I just, I'm just not in the surprise me era. That's the thing. I want to know. And they said in their post, due to extreme demand, which mm -hmm. I believe, because I, I know yeah. a lot of people were really upset when they got rid of the seasonal surprise box. Um, I love the EC listens to their customers and they take feedback. And if the girls mm -hmm. want it, they're going to give it to them. And I'm not mad at that at all. Like you said, mm -hmm. I'm not personally in my surprise box era anymore, mm -hmm. but other people are. And that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I love that for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Jeanette said she likes the new A5 notebook. She got one at the EC store. Is that where y'all were? Y'all had that little meetup? Uh, or was it like a event at the EC store yesterday? Because Danny just sent us a video out of nowhere with like Tisa and Jeanette and all these other people. And I'm like, what the hell? Danny ain't told us nothing. <laughs> we can't even be with the cool kids because we live we live outside literally, of Texas. <laughs> literally, we're so lame. <laughs> Oh, oh! Texas Dude. Planner Babe meetups. Shout out oh, to nice. y'all. Yeah, and you know what? I have seen too. Like, if you're going to go wow, if you're in the ticker holder group, I've seen a lot of different people in different areas have like pre go wow meetups. I know um, they're doing something with newbies where they're having Zoom meetups. So there are tons of opportunities to meet new oh, people, meet planner check. friends. Um, if you're going to go wow, you might be going along. You have some good opportunities to meet some people. Um, yeah, and just find your people before it go wild. I love that. Yeah, lots of that. like I've seen a lot of breakoffs like Iowa llamas, and you know, so you can go mm -hmm. by state if you want to like hook up with somebody pre wild or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or hell, maybe you can even have somebody close enough they can fly in and fly out with you. Yep. So yeah, I know that's true. That'd be cool. That's true. Yep. But I love it. Nothing in Ohio, but that's okay. Mm -mm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, quick reminder for y'all: people listening to the episode are not going to hear this, but Patreon crew, mm-hmm. y'all will hear it because y'all are here right now. Um, we are going to be doing the Archer and All of Black Creators Connect panel this week on Tuesday at seven p.m. Central Time. I'll be sharing that link out tomorrow, and I'm sure Archer and All is going to be sharing it too. Make sure y'all come and hang out and support us. It's going to be really fun, and you don't have to be a black creator to be there. Just be open and nice and not an asshole and come period come hang it's gonna be really good yeah 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 it'll be a good time it's always a good time so yeah mm-hmm. you don't have to be black to show up i love that <laughs> <laughs> forget because i feel like they might be trying to trying to be like considerate yeah not take, take up space. space yeah in a black space but mm-hmm. that's not that's not what that is yeah for everybody truly it's just plenty learn. of space plenty yep. of space Love it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, this has been such a fun episode. Shout out to the Patreon crew again um, for hanging with us today on our February live episode. And mm-hmm. I'm just excited for what's to come. It's I think March is going to be really fun. And then it's going to be April. and We're going to be doing the funnest of things with our friends. And I can't wait. Yeah, I'm excited for it all. But yeah. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. Yeah. Um, yeah. And come join the Patreon if you want to hang out with us because we do have a good time behind here. We I do. We say that a lot, but it's the truth. It is. Period. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Bye, y'all. Hey, Grapevine. Thanks for listening to this week's episode. Planners and Wine is hosted by Megan P. and Myra P. and is edited by Jonathan F. We'd like to thank our Planners of Wine patrons for their continued support and engagement. With special thanks to Daniel M. and Lisa F., moderators of our Patreon-exclusive Facebook group. For more amazing content, please visit plannersandwine.com or find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash plannersandwine. You can also find us on all social media platforms at Planners and Wine.